How's everybody doing today? Welcome into the doing stream. Today? In. I am currently one armed because my cat Dexter will not leave me alone. So there likely will be much stepping on of keyboard and all of that stuff. He's being very um Dextery. He's a little bit derpy, a little bit a little bit special, so he can't he has bad kitty anxiety, so he can't sit still for very long, even if he's super happy. He'll be, like, purring and really happy. And then after, like, three minutes, he has to get up and switch spots uh, and then come right back. Like, so it's fine, except um, so he's really a big boy. He's a big kitty cat. And his paws, are, are, he'll, he'll put his claws out when he's climbing on you, so it hurts quite a bit. <laughs> Uh, and he gets, if you tell him no to holding him, he gets this really hurt look on his face, and you can tell it bothers him, so I try not to do it too much, and I've been playing a lot of World of Tanks, and he likes to come over right when I'm in the middle of battle blowing stuff up, and he'll walk in front of my screen, so I'm trying to uh, just give him a little bit of attention here so he doesn't feel bad. Cause he's a good boy. Just a little bit. He's a little bit broken. He's not the brightest kitty cat. Um, he never has been, but that's okay. He's a sweet boy, so it makes up for it. He also sheds everywhere. Uh, and he's not even a super fluffy cat. Bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. I adventure that's beyond compare. We are the gummy bears. All right, I'm going to mess around with cross. So most of the stream is going to be essentially my cross preview. I'll post the, the stream on YouTube, maybe give um, um, a, like a final few moveset screenshots sort of thing. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do for um, my cross preview. We got him at six star. So uh, he'll be a six star preview and I can't see some of my screen because Dexter is sitting in front of it. Uh, hey, Scott, how are you? Rules, what's up? It's got to go blue. Hey, Hoodie, thank you for the biddies. Yeah, Scott, happy, happy boss battle weekend indeed. Um, been a disturbing, I'm gonna, definitely okay with calling it a trend now with boss battle looking like it's got to be done turn one and complete ignoring of the breakers. I find that kind of frustrating. All right, B-Rock, thanks for being here, my man. We'll see how many people we have today. I'm not expecting it to be super busy, but we'll see. Um, yeah. So gonna, like I said, check cross out a bunch. Hey, HD, how are you? Um, run some different stuff. I'm not sure how I feel about him yet. I've played a few matches, and by a few, I mean less than 10. Um, so that's a few, um, playing him against six star theory is really set up quite well. Um, the AI plays him decently, the bleeds stack up. So, you know, it, you get a really good look, um, versus a six star, which I think is good. Um, yeah. What's up country rules? Hey, pro fresh. Yeah. Old man. Indeed. All right. I got my screen available to me again so here yeah. oh um yeah hey kyle thanks for following um i don't know but i feel like uh cross is um oh two bob thanks for the raid man I should there's the alert okay uh how is your stream bud Welcome in, Raiders. Are you me? Hey, McManamy, KD, Chandler, Blackamura, what's up? That, <laughs> yeah, Blackamura. Hey, Pally, how are you? Um, so, the uh, what's up, Phil? Nice, running the stun. I'm assuming. Um, I forgot what I even have equipped to him here. I think this is triple black with no plate. <sighs> I 
Yeah. So. This would have to be 17k Santa, I think, ideally in feud. <laughs> yeah, hi, McManamy. Um, so 17k Santa instead of Hogan, uh, or Hogan. Wow. Uh, show. Um, and then you can get away with destroying four blacks and then recycling after the sub. This could be interesting with a drip plate too, uh, potentially. Uh, cause the sub's kind of interesting, but first go around, you generally aren't going to have a lot of extra black gems to place on cause you got to destroy four, right? So, uh, that's worth noting with this move set. Also animations in one time speed are going to feel ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'll go to 1.25 because I can't really handle it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. What's my second biggest gem? I have no idea. I've not been paying attention. I think he's got red. Does he have red? Purple? Well, I don't remember the other colors. Whatever. We'll just put him on red in the corner. Yeah, I played Marvel Snap. It's really fun. Uh, I'm having a really hard time. Actually, I usually um, I play Marvel Strike Force. I did really none of my stuff yesterday. Um, I'm playing a game for Tapjoy. Didn't I just ignored it completely yesterday? Um, really, just playing a little bit of Champions and then like hours and hours of World of Tanks. I'm terrible at the game. I typically hate uh, shooters. Like I'm not a Call of Duty guy. Back in the day, I played Halo and stuff, but I typically don't care for shooters at all, but there's something about playing tanks, and I'm just having a blast, uh, reminding me of why I like games so much. I just want to have fun, and you can play endless hours of smashing tanks, so I've been enjoying it a lot, to the point where I don't really care about just doing dailies in random other games and that kind of stuff, because I'm genuinely having fun instead of sort of killing time. So this isn't bad, this is no plate. You could, but it's also a little board dependent ish. Now the problem is um, sometimes with this is you're gonna have issues with having black gems on the board. So it is slightly board dependent, but it's control. It's not bad. I mean, 2.8 million hit. Um, I do have a move damage strap on him for stuff we're gonna try later, uh, but it is a full Fury 2 set. However, only a level 12 here. So a lot of gem damage left on the table. Um, but it's not, like, ridiculously OP, right? Oh, uh, yeah, anti-stun does nothing to a boss other than the move damage. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this card yet, by the way, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm having a hard time getting over the, the, the multiple kickout moves. Um, that aren't kickout moves. You have to get pinned to use them. And I just don't like that mechanic at all. Uh, some of you may know of my very great dislike for Trickster Ray gameplay. It's just not a style I particularly care for. If I want to play defensively, I don't want to play to get pinned necessarily. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I want to use control sub. I want to control the board when I play defensively. Not, I want to be defensively offensive, if that makes sense. I don't want to be defensively defensively. That's not real words, but... So this is going to take a long time, this moveset, right? It's dink it dinks and dunks pretty decent, though. Two, three million a pop. Um, but it's going to... And here's the problem. If they have a match thing, you know, uh, after the pin, if they match their gems, they're going to get their move off. Yeah, I don't like having to rely off getting pinned. It makes it a little bit easier because of the sub. But still... I don't want to rely on that. And then this is the other problem with this move set. Now we're out of black gems and um, our, we're going to hit for poo poo damage. That's right. Poo poo. I said it. So, well, it looks great and it's easy enough to recycle. You only need to catch like one black gem to recycle the destroy, two for everything else. It's just kind of. And then, of course, Theory's got his trap gems out. So now his bleed's going to be full. And we're going to eat a bunch of damage to the face now. And this is just the AI plan, you know what I mean? Of course, he gets a wild card. 
because that's how it goes. Oh yeah, I will get there HD. I'm just messing around. I'm saving that for the end, right? So when I do that, I have to switch all over to move damage or not necessarily the end, but I have to switch all my metals over and reset everything up. So uh, I just loaded Fury to get through the Fury set, see what looks good, decent, how hard it can hit. This would be um, um, better with a drip plate, I think, though. Also, potential. I mean, and to be fair, um, carrying Cross's style is really slow in general. He's like a non-technical, technical wrestler. The best part about him is um, his entrance. And he does decent promos and stuff, but the TikTok thing is really dumb, and Drew said it best. So, an hourglass definitely. I've thought that a long time uh, ago. An hourglass doesn't tick. So that doesn't make sense. But whatever. Anyway, I think he's going to be a great card. And this is not his best move set. But you need the six star move. So you're taking him to six star. And is he worth that? I don't know. I believe it. Why did I hit that move? I couldn't tell you. Because. So you can see, you see what's happening though with the bleed, right? No, I triple yellow can go itself, Angelo. I would not play triple yellow at all. That's not good. Like when you have the destroy sitting there and you can possibly get the yellow off multiple times. I think that's the way to go in my opinion we'll see I, I might i may end up taking that back but just because i have only played a few things but just looking at it i can tell you i don't think there's any way i would play triple yellow on purpose unless i had to uh i don't think he's worth a defender based on how uh expensive it's going to be to chase him i don't think he's worth it at all i would rather mm, let me wait Tentatively, I'm saying I'd rather have Lashley anyway. Rocker's way better. All right. We'll play triple yellow right after this. Actually, everyone wants to see the move stuff, so whatever. I'll get no peace until I run it. I'll just switch the medals twice. Yep. I uh, got a video out for it, Sib, but yep. He looks good. So that's good. That's awesome, Bob. Uh, I would love to, Scott. Would love to. That video is averaging a whopping 10 minutes, Dave. It's one of my longer ones. So anyway, uh, this is how we did. Like, Theory took us down. Um, with that. So. Yeah, I asked again today. I mean, so, this is a case, though, with the shards on the line. Uh, and me asking for a while now. Um, if it's not taken off by the last day of the event, then I'm just doing it. Because Bianca won't have trouble doing it anyway. Um, so, there's that. So be will you guys give me a break and, and let me run one other move damage thing before? Like, yeah, and then because I'll end up changing the metals back anyway. Although, does anyone think this would be great with a drip plate? Um, no, 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 it's fine. I uh, like, I, so obviously guys, let's, let's just, uh, we'll, we'll, here. This is the move. When you look at this move, it's 1.5 million damage, 6 MP, moves the pin bar left 9 notches. 
This is like DX Triple H, both moves combined times five. Right? Times five. Now, he doesn't have a natural recycle to the yellow, but he does have a choose destroy. So, the, as far as the double yellow, you're not filling, everything is filled, but then you're just sitting there. Um, you are likely to get pinned, yes, because you've rolled the bar nine notches, but then you're only, here. I won't even use, let's, um, okay. So you're going to set him up, move damage, right? I think we all agree that's the way you'd build him. There is a danger here of once you do your move and you get pinned, you're effed. Because right here, and these do all big damage, but what happens if you don't kick out on the first go? These countdown gems just blow up the board and then you have no yellow MP. So, also what happens when they just don't move the pin bar? So you're sitting, because you take it, this takes you to two, you swipe, it goes to five. So what happens if they don't move the pin bar? Then you take a swipe, they take a swipe, they load, whatever. Likely, though, they're going to smack you, right? So we all agree you're probably getting pinned right away, triple yellow, in feud, let's say, because that's what people are going to care about. So how hard do you hit? If you don't kick out on your first swipe, um, this doesn't go on the board. It happens when you're kicking out the countdown. Now... If it doesn't happen, it happens on your turn. What does it do? Two by four random area three times. So what are you doing? You're going to pin, right? So now you're on to another turn before you can move this, use this move again. So yeah, it's going to hit really hard. Um, for sure. Definitely going to hit really hard. But you're going to pin. And you're, you're going to get hit again. So if they recycle, you're getting smacked twice to use this move twice. They're probably dead after that, yes. But then you gotta get a pin. So now you're taking another turn. And um, I'm happy to... We, can, we, we will certainly test triple yellow out. I just don't see it being viable at all to me. Um, I think the cheap destroy would be better in combo with it for sure um yes there's a stun so you're gonna stun them too but then you're gonna pin i don't know like maybe it'll work okay i just feel like it's gonna knowing me and my random luck i feel like this will frustrate the heck out of me in feud like i could be wrong i feel like triple yellow will frustrate the heck out of me in feud though yeah but i could be wrong Maybe it'll be amazing. Uh, we'll try it and see. Um, but yeah. Yeah, if you love playing Ray, like Trickster Ray, I think you'll love this guy. He's better. I mean, this is a crazy kickout. It's uh, crazy damage on the kickouts. Put all the countdown gems out. Get a stun out with crazy damage. Do this. Um... I would probably put some kind of yellow plate to get yellow with a swipe. Um, or an escape artist, because this is not going to have fun against a sub build. Right? Like, if how would the, you'd get, like, against someone with a sub? Probably not very fun. Um, if they get a turn. And they're likely going to get a turn without you doing anything. So this is a no against anyone with a sub. Yeah, Chandler, I hate him. <laughs> so yeah, um, every everything has bias, right? Um, what I was wondering, though, interestingly, so this is place, right? The sub, and it drains them. What would some kind of funky hybrid build like this do? Like, okay, because this, you can place these sub gems, these multiply gems on any color you want. So now all of a sudden, you're reloading the destroy. If you put like, you know what I mean? You're reloading the destroy. You're reloading this. You move the pin bar a long way. Now you got some action because this is choose where you put them. 
uh, where you put your multiplies. And I feel like there's a lot more to do here. Because you could load this, you could load the destroy, you could have a plate that makes yellow, um, and then you might not run out of yellow on the board. You could set up a yellow match, you could use um, matchy match, like uh, if you have NW Hogan with two on a match. Yeah, you got it, Dispred. Do what I can. I don't know. What, what moves do you guys think would go well besides the two yellows with it? What moves would you use? Would you use the cheap sub? Just to drain them? A purple, is a purple, is smoke plate purple to yellow or yellow to purple? What do we got that makes, I think it's yellow to purple. No, it's purple to yellow. Time once again is purple to yellow. We can maybe use that. Um, we could maybe, is that the only yellow one? You would use the other black with drip, yeah. That would be awesome with drip. Probably. When you get it out. Yeah, time once again would probably be the skill plate. Uh, assuming you... you uh, I feel like maybe triple black would hit harder. Maybe. I don't know, HD. So... I, you'd be counting on drip plate landing on a black or a yellow, right? Uh, and to get it turn one, how would you get it all turn one? You'd need Santa Hogan, black MP, yellow MP. Then you could get it, it turn one. You could hit this even out of turn to get them out. Hope one lands on a yellow. If one lands on a yellow, um, maybe you reload this. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Zandel. Give me... Uh, I've only played a few. I'm trying to... Be... Also, Drip Plate Triple Black, I think, would be interesting, too, um, HD. Because you destroy your blacks, the multis go out, you can reload it if there's five on the board. You also have the sub reloaded, multis go out. Um, so I feel like Triple Black might be super interesting with it, too. Hmm... Don't waste your shards on either of them, Theory. If you have all of their shards built up, then probably DX Triple H's control, IOW, Cena, you would need a um, Titan Plate, which I'm going to bet you don't have. No, Titan Plate won't... Yeah, Titan Plate will work on Cena, right? He's got... Will it work? No. Does it work off of the sub? I don't think it works off of the subs. So, no. Yes? No? I don't know. Uh, but neither of them if you don't have the shards. Uh, naturally. Because you'll want to save your shard for better. Otherwise, it's a huge waste of shards, in my opinion. You'll regret it down the line. Yeah, I didn't think so, McManamy, but they've stuff has been changing. And what did I use it on the other day? It blew me away that it worked. Was it off of a Juggernaut or something? Was it Juggernaut Gems that I was surprised something worked? I'm trying to remember what it was. I was just, like, shocked that it actually worked. Um, all right, so whatever. Um, HD, you running this Fury then, or are you going to go move damage for the yellow with the Drip Plate? Because then you have a decision to make if you're doing this, like you were saying. If you're... I don't know yet, Max. We're finding out together. So you want to run a drip plate like this. Are you running in Fury to take advantage of the drip, or are you running move damage to take advantage of the, the move? I think either could work, potentially, yeah. Either or, mm-hmm. And you're going to use double MP for the destroy? Like, like this. Black and yellow. To have them loaded. And then, is that what you were thinking? And do you want this one loaded too? 
So 17k Santa. If I miss something, feel free to correct me. Because I was thinking of going a different route, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure, not a cheap build. Um, and would you use Mem if you had him? Or would you go, uh, like, Gooker for yellow damage? I guess it depends. For Fury, you go Mem. If you're going move damage, you go, like, Gooker, right? So I got a hybrid. I have a twenty. I put one of my own straps on. I put a twenty percent move damage strap. So we got some move damage. And we got fury. So let's stick with um, let's stick with mem. And I've been using a lot more testing, a lot more skill plates lately. So I think I'm way out of currency. Um, so let me use a couple of these. Now I haven't changed anything for me. It's all been on stream. So. 10 is way more than I ever change. I think I changed two last month of my own. Du -du 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 Baby, thanks for the follow. All right. Uh, I got a drip plate. Hopefully he hasn't taken it off yet because it's not my own. It's for reasons just like this because everyone wants to see one. I was also thinking maybe a sigil could be interesting with the sub build I was running earlier. Yeah, Vic. Um, honestly, I don't think, like, I think Rocker's better, for sure. I think, I, I'm 99% sure I enjoy Cody more, uh, when I played Cody. I'm not saying, I'm not comfortable saying Cody's better yet, um, for sure, but I enjoyed Cody way more. I am comfortable saying that. But this could turn out, like, after messing with for a while, I'm just like, okay, this guy's actually super duper fun. So... I was really looking forward to, because I love Juggernaut gems, this moveset. Here, here, and the destroy. Really, really fun. Uh, but this doesn't do enough, and it doesn't work out well at all. Um, this should have been like a three-turn countdown instead of two. So you did the damage twice because this pins and doesn't do a lot of damage when you destroy the immobiles. So while it looked cheap, fun, and okay, I'm going to love this build set. This is the kind of thing I like. No. Uh, plus this is five turns. So now you eat up all your immobile gems. So you have to waste a coach on a sub down coach. It ended up being super disappointing because looking at it, I'm like, oh, I'm going to love this build set. Nope. Don't. Didn't like it at all. So I'm hoping some version of, I can't see me liking triple yellow because we talked about Ray. So I'm hoping something with the yellow move um, that doesn't require a drip plate will be fun for me. Uh, but I know drip plate has the, looks like a lot of potential on him. So let's find out what happens. Yep, it absolutely does HD. It, that Because it's jug gems, it has to be a jug specific coach. And um, those don't, Mm, like woods doesn't work on traps so would it work for sure it does with the move generate zombies i don't know maybe it would maybe it wouldn't hard to say right um also the other thing with this guy he's a throwaway coach you take less sub damage that meta is long gone who cares about that i would never waste that coach um ability so he's not worth chase whoops we're going back to the match the six star on even footing here um, so as a coach, he's not anyone you're going to remotely miss. Oh, the coach? That's like uh, Goldberg. People spent for him mainly for his coach. He's not bad, but the, the real reason for Goldberg was his coach. If they made it plus 5 MP to all moves... Um, people would spend tens of thousands, some of the whales would, to get it if they had to. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't spend a single thousand. Okay, let me see how this is going to go. So, everything would be loaded. HD, you'd hit the, the buff move first just to get the drip out, would you, or... And then use the destroy off of what the board gives us kind of thing. So obviously we're going to hit this move. 
we're not buffing it, so it's 1.6 mil. Now, would you hit this to hopefully give us some love? And get lucky with where they land? Otherwise, this is a good board for manipulating. Although not in feud, because it takes six and we don't have any matchy match. Okay, so we this works out okay-ish. We can destroy one yellow and hit the yellow again. But then... We'd be out. So, I guess we go for a pin. And see how much damage we can do and get the black gems to recycle. I think that's the right play. Let's go for a pin. We need to get at least four black gems. One, two, three, four to recycle. Okay. So I think that would probably be the play. Now we're not, the problem is we're not slowing him down. Um, at all. We will reload at least. So I don't think, don't know if the Fury's going to work. Now we have better option though, right? For sure. Now we have good options, because now we just break, uh, dodge Fs of this over like a mother trucker. Because we could have just broke a black, a yellow, hit it again, a black, a yellow, hit it again, and we'd be off and running. Yep, only me, every freaking time. <clears throat> it's, it's unreal. Did, did, do you understand why I hate anything random HD? <laughs> Like, I swear, I have the worst luck. And I don't think I'm making it up. You could almost guarantee that was going to happen there. We might end up losing this. No, I don't know. That bleed gets really disgusting. This is not going to go well. I shouldn't have done that. That was a misplay. I should have broke... Well, maybe not, because we were going to break the yellow, hit a move once. So I guess maybe not a misplay. Yep. Because <laughs> mm. we weren't going to recycle anyway. This, see, the board is just dead now, too. I got, I got very little... don't really care but we'll take that take that we'll take that and that's all the 13s except loot box yes no red here and I'll miss that oh well 13 is better than 7 Yeah, so you run out of blacks, you end up dead in the water with this build. We are going to lose with a drip plate. He did dodge, though. He did dodge. So this is trying to use a drip plate, Bob, with uh, Fury Metals. Because, you know, maximizing, maximizing the drip plate. The damage, in my opinion, isn't going to be there this way. It's going to have to be move damage or bust. Also, I think I might use the sub instead. Because the sub lets me choose where I place my multiply gems. So I kind of want to try the same thing with the sub, also HD. Because I feel like the, we'll get better mileage than the buff. Yeah. I would be happy, more than happy to do that, Bob. I also think a Sigil could potentially be really interesting with that build too, to be honest. I want to try both of those plates, so we'll probably burn a bunch of currency today. Because Drip Plate, so many people can use it. I, If there's even close to as good an option, I don't want to use it. Yeah, he smoked us. All right. I actually need to keep track of health packs on this one. This is going to be expensive. Yeah, I don't like triple yellow. 
Probably. I haven't played it yet, but I don't like it. I don't want to get pinned. Uh, I need to get a notepad out. I, I haven't used health packs in a preview. Usually it's like 30 or something. I don't even request them. I just let it go. I don't care. But this is, we're going to burn through a lot going against theory. Uh, that's not my notepad. Uh, notepad. Yeah, it's great. I just never gonna use it. And it's completely worthless um in boss battle. Which is fine. So health packs done. Okay. Okay. I definitely will try other stuff than the drip bob. No question. I want it like a there's a lot. Uh la the jacket and then the which is funny because cross jacket. Um I do think this would be better with the sub. Like this and then we also don't need Santa Hogan um, so you could pop in move damage and also I do think this whole build would run better with move damage uh, which we'll do later after we switch away from fury we'll switch to total move damage and run them both again HD as well um, Oh, hey, we got yellow. We can use root. He's less rare. We'll definitely be running triple yellow with the move damage. It might turn out that I think it's worth the damage you take. Um, if it's equal to the love you make. You know what I'm saying? No. He's not like DX Triple H. I think people are going to compare that. But uh, DX Triple H is completely consistent. I don't know if this guy's going to always be consistent. The sub will help. Uh, fair enough, elimination. Fair enough. Uh, no, no disagreements. Um, Bob, my concern with the triple yellow is what happens with if you don't kick out on the first swipe and you lose all yellow gen. You know what I mean? So that's one concern I have with that. Um, so in feud, we would need to destroy five black gems. And that would reload everything. And you don't have to worry about a pin this way. So I do kind of like this, assuming you have five black gems on the board. Um, might as well grab the yellow. No reason not to. Yeah, that's the one I think I'll probably end up liking the most, Bob. That's what I wanted to mess around with initially. The advantage to this is we choose where we place them. So we want one yellow and then the rest on black. If we get really lucky, he won't destroy these, but he'll probably destroy them. Oh, we got really unlucky. Oh, maybe not. He didn't destroy those. Okay. So we has options now. One, one black. Five is perfect for the black. And we had some yellow because we destroyed some yellow. So now we can have a party. And this is where if it was move damage, um, he's dead. Literally, if this is move damage, he's already dead. Doesn't even know it. Because those would be hitting for 8 million. Not, not 8 million, 1.5, not 8 million, like 4.5 or 5 million, something like that. 8 million is way exaggeration. So I think this is how I would want to play it. Thanks, Evo. Like, this is how I would want to play this one. And you wouldn't even need a drip plate for this build, I don't think. So he's he's long dead with a proper setup. Um, and then we got the sub loaded again. So now we can just choose multiplies all over the board again. Why not? He's going to move the pin bar for us. Um... We'll make this a... That's a five. Uh, why not? Actually, that's dumb, Will. 
put it on everything else just for fun. And you will need to be quick or you'll run out of... I was about to get really mad there. If he was going to Cascade and then fill up his moves, but thankfully Cascaded all the way. Hmm. I do be pinning here, but that's fine, I guess. Because we're subbing and draining them. So if I'm pinning, I might as well get my money's worth. I do think this works way better with the sub and granted it's just one match each but I do think it works better with the sub and then I don't think you need the drip plate I think move damage no drip plate um, sub or maybe even the other move uh, but it's, it's just kind of random um, ish that being said um, before I take drip plate off is there anything that somebody wants me to play? Because if I take it off, I'm not going to put it back on again. Anything you want me to play with the drip plate before I take it off? You want me to play triple black with the drip plate before I take it off? With a fury setup? Okay. Mm hmm all right now do we want to set this up for feud with um santa hogan and matt since we're going drip plate and damage is that let's yeah is that and then we use matt that's what you want to see too. I'm sure Evo wants to see that too. <laughs> you want to destroy more? I can get behind that, I guess. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go destroy then. <laughs> Seth is more, right? There's someone that does more? No? No, that's green. Is that my best then? Gallows is my best? Black moves that destroy, destroy four more? I mean, that's probably enough. Twelve anyway, right? Okay. So then we don't need Mem either. Um, so we need Santa Hogan. Do, 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 Okay. What do you want in the last slot? That's well. So question, Bob. If we go negative two no gems get destroyed which is nice but also we don't drain them so are you are we gonna commit to a one and done like it's it's either good enough to one shot or it's a waste is that is that the plan then or are we playing two turns and then draining them and winning on turn two because by turn two we should have a crap ton of multiplies on the board as well so what do you what do you want to play for? Yeah, I think yeah. I think I'd rather play to get the sub off turn one, load the board up, and then go for the big turn two. Uh if anyone wants to come in voice, I'd be down. Yeah, so if you Evo, that moveset 
It has to be run with move damage, though, yeah? You can't run that with Fury, because we just tried that, and it's, it's not there, so you'd have to do the move damage for sure. Yeah. Uh, so I don't want to switch my metals, like, back and forth a ton, because sometimes it takes more than a month to get reimbursed the bits, and I am always low on metal bits. So I want to try and do everything Fury-based first, and then try and do everything move damage base second. If I have to, I have plenty of skill plate removal currency because I almost never use it. Most of the time I use my own. Um, I can. I have 40 some and I haven't requested for a top up in like four months um, from Furpo. So we can. I can move it back and forth twice, uh, the drip plate, if we need to. Um, so let's get everything. So this trainer... Um, yeah, yeah. I'll move the drip back when we do move damage. Then I'll just, I'll, I don't, I'm just weird that way. There's really no reason why I should care because I have plenty. I'm just weird about using them. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid the not less sub turn because I want to drain him. I don't know, Vic. That would be pretty easy, though. That would make things way easier. I don't know if I want to go one more, though. I kind of like it where it's at. Sort of. I was thinking... Um, I was thinking maybe of keeping Mem, because 8 shouldn't hurt with the yellow, right? Or, I mean, with the, with the one extra. And that would make these five. So I was kind of thinking maybe of keeping Mem. Yeah. Because then we can do something with the fives, and I can place them on black gems or whatever, I guess. What are you talking about? You 50% at Fort... What, Evo? You're throwing all kinds of numbers. Yeah, I'm confused now. It doesn't take much. Um, and I'm. This is weird when I'm like, "What do you guys want me to try?" Because usually I don't do this at all. All right, everyone wants soul mana, coach. Soul man, it is. It's a it's a nasty freaking sub. Let's be real. That's one point six million. It is a pretty nasty sub, no doubt about it. That's pretty dirty. Yeah. Uh, nothing much, Kuka. Just screwing around with Cross. Having some fun. No, no, you're fine. Uh, so, honestly, guys, big reason like why i want to do it this way today and I'm, I'm happy for the feedback is i'll tell you right now i feel like he would have been a struggle for me to do my normal type of preview because there's something about this card that i just don't like and i can't really explain it um so yeah so idea would be to hit this to get the drip plate out right and hope it lands on a black like that yes that would be the ultimate goal. Or just destroy, right? Now we can just destroy one. Yes, exactly. That's perfect. So this is like, this is perfect situation so far. Now we can do some work. Now we can do this. Now we can hit our sub. And next turn should be pretty dang dirty. Also, because drip plate situation, I'm just going to cover all the black gems because they're probably going to get broke anyway. Um, and the ones that don't will for sure have a multiply. Maybe that's not the right play. But I kind of figured a bunch were going to get broke. Oh, that see, this is this is what happens to me all the time. Um. Okay, so this is kind of, uh, we're good for one destroy here, so don't panic yet. 
not a lot of black gems on the board, which is sad. Um, let's... Four, this is seven. I need uh, two more for that, I think. To load the buff move, is that correct? I think it's two. We're going to find out. Might have been one. And then I cascaded. Like a boss. Okay, I'm talking, so I wasn't paying attention, so maybe I might not have, and he, of course, lit up the whole board. Why not? Blow up all my multiply gems. Thank you, Theory, you piece of crap. Yeah, you did. I'm just clicking buttons, bro. That, that one was apparently my fault. However, these get really freaking big. Um... Really freaking big. I want five. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I really don't like this blue. Being two blues, but one, two, three, four, five. I actually, what I really want is seven. What I really want is seven. But this would cascade for sure. And I'd be pushing my luck, so five it is. But I really want seven. I told you that blue is going to do that. Whatever. Now we can hit the sub, drain his MP, and then destroy. Uh, fair enough, Evo. I'm happy to test it. Do I even care at this point? Heck no, I don't care. Actually, we don't want the bigger ones on these, so let's do it that way. Do, do, do. Uh, yeah, I have Theory. He's okay. Corbin's way better. Don't ask. If you have Corbin, don't even care about Theory. Oh, you see what I did? Okay, that's where you're going. My bad elimination. I'm just used to everyone. Who should I level at Trickster? Bro, Corbin. Always. Ugh. See? Hmm. Now, I want that big boom. I want the big boom. Big boom. Come on, baby. Yeah, he's weird, man. He's really weird. <laughs> Maybe you got ugly real fast. That this is just big multiply numbers, though. Not gonna lie, it's fun that part. I don't. I feel like I should love this guy. Um, do I just take all of the big multiplies? I feel like I just take. Yeah, let's just. Why not? How many gems? Dear Lord in heaven, how many gems is that? I could cascade. Actually, let's let me give me a second. Uh, that's a three match, but let's take the 22 gem. Actually, let's drop it all to the bottom. Then I don't need to worry about it, right? That's all of them. Those three are going to drop, so that's 36 more. Uh, that gets me a bunch more multiply. And then let's take the 22s and the 17s. Sure. Yeah, this is the drip plate. This is more the drip plate. Okay, that was five million. That that works. Very little danger. Very controlly. Um, probably faster if I don't cascade. Um, definitely works. But would you rather have a drip plate here with a uh, triple black, or would you rather have it on Andre or Bliss or how many drip plates you got? You know. Um, so I think uh, Lashley's jacket is going to be really interesting on this one, potentially. Um, do you want to see? Let's do it again, because that was only once. Let's do it again. And then what else do you want me to change around, if anything, while I'm doing this again? Somebody said they want to see a full-on sub build. I'm fine doing that. I can load them up with a super sub. I think that'll probably work exceptionally well as well. Yeah, I also don't have one. This is not my drip plate. So I'm right there with you. OK, 
Okay, we whiffed. No surprise, it's me. Completely whiffled. I'm gonna break this. I'm kidding. Alright, that looks safe. Safe. Safe, except a red's gonna drop right here. It didn't. It's a Christmas miracle. Yes, Kuka, you can see all his moves. I was thinking about Sigil as well, Evo. Sigil and Jacket were the two I was really thinking about. Alright, here we go. Are you flipping kidding me? Ah. Yep. I just wanted to get the, all of these bigger, though. It's like they know what I'm trying to do. It's like they know. Gosh dang it. Mother flippin' fricker flipper flapper. Burgle flickle. And we're blown up the board. Might as well take all the black gems. Yeah. Whatever. It's too much. I don't even know. Hey! That's a good cascade. Hey, Macarena. Alright. Round two. Fight. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Just saying. Hmm. Hmm. This is freaking yummy now. We are cooking with gas, as they say. Tell me I got eight on the pin bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it! Oh, one more and it could have been really explosive. Oh, shut up, McManamy. Woo! There's so many multiply gems. There's one on a black. Oh, ho, ho! Yes. To quote the offspring. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> if I really hope you guys have heard that song. If not, this is really awkward. There's so many yellows. I have option anxiety. I have option anxiety. Yeah, so it's fun. Like, it's not fast, though. Like, okay, I don't have... I don't remember Cody, and I didn't have a drip plate, drip plate for Cody. But it, it, this doesn't... I think the move damage is the only way I think he's going to be able to get into the, the um, discussion with being as good as, like, a Cody or Rocker. It, that's the only chance he'll have, right? Because this isn't fast. Uh, it's fun, though. I like having the sub for control, not going to lie. You know what I mean? Like having the sub for control. Um, maybe I'm starting to like him a little bit more, but I do want to test without the drip because there's so many freaking places the drip plate can go that I don't want to use it unless it's, like, better than anywhere else, you know? Yeah, I think the move damage will too, Evo. But that's a pretty big smack. And we were in very little danger. We took no damage. That's a pretty big smack. I like triple black. I definitely do. Yes, elimination. Yes. I'm not reading that out loud and saying yes, because that would be a clippable moment. Okay. Uh, we all agree this is solid, yes? Not amazing, but good. 
Right. It's, you're going you're gonna to run it twice, Celis. You're going to have to go through it twice. It's going to take a while, but you're not going to lose probably ever really at all. But it would be um, giving up a drip plate. So um, are we done with the drip plate? Before, or do we want to run sub build with the drip plate first? Or are we done with drip plate? I'll run sub build either way. But are we done with drip plate? Other than the move damage one that Evil wants to run after I switch over to move damage metals. Anyway, while you guys think about that, I will do one of the super sub builds with triple black because that won't take long. Oh, there's sub now. Not just move damage, there's sub. Hmm. You know, let's just go for the, the full shebang. So we get 500k um, for seven turns. That's, uh, that three point? Is that a three point? Hold on. Just one second. Is that a 3.5 million damage sub over seven turns? That's kind of hot. What do you guys think? Where's Moisty when we need him? I have an idea. Later, maybe. Later. Don't know. Yes. So, in the case of a sub, I actually like the yellow moves, Bob. Because sub, often, you don't move the pin bar, so you get pinned. So I actually would probably use the stun in that case. Because what would be more annoying than that? I mean, we have the drip plate, so whatever. Might as well hit it. Not that it matters, because I can't connect anything. Hey, Fifth Element, how are you? Yeah, maybe both subs uh, with Purple uh, Coach and Austin instead of three turns. Um, might be fun. That's actually what I was thinking. Or just double MP it. Uh... One, two, okay, hold on. Ooh. Shortness of breath. I think that was uh, too much caffeine, maybe? One, two, don't tell Mrs. Merrick's. One, two, three, four, five. The subinator is ready. I mean, really, we'd use the yellow move damage, maybe, or maybe one of the kickouts. I don't know. Go away, Harv. Go away. If anyone in my faction uses KO, I swear I'm gonna lose my crap. KO is not good. Not good on turn one. He's he's a turn two boss battle freak, though. We're gonna pin, because I want to it'll make the sub go faster. Why am I doing that? There's no reason unless I do this one too. Now there's a reason. Uh, aggressive sucks. Uh, basically only Brock is good. Edge is probably usable. Who else is aggressive? Someone I don't have maybe. There's not much good at all. Uh, to use. So if you can get anybody to bring 20, 30, 40 million damage to the table turn one at aggressive, I'd consider that a victory. Um, unless you have Brock, in which case you can do a lot more for your carry. Aggressive, I don't see anybody using to help carry, but to get through your carry is the problem, right? 
I mean, just for fun, we have the drip plate on. I don't know why not. Let's just let's just party. If, even though we're using the sub build, it's a party. I'm not passing this opportunity up because you guys saw how hard the sub hits. We really don't even need to run it with sub trainers because you can just look at it and know what it's going to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but this is what I wanted earlier, and he dodged it again. Every time I would be able to buff those moves huge again, every time he dodges the buff, every dang time. Oh, this game. Mm. All right, I'm good now. I lied, I'm not good. Why? Why? Dodge? Literally, whoever put dodge in this game. Let me just take a minute here. Let me let me get real with you guys. Let me pause the stream and take a minute. This is a public service announcement brought to you by Merrick's Gaming. Whoever's idea it was to put dodge in the game, both Acrobat and Trickster, I hope for the rest of your life, every night, when you get up to have to go to the bathroom, you step on a Lego. And no, I won't ever take that back. You deserve for the rest of your life to step on a Lego. And I'm telling you, if you've never done it, you've never unsuspectingly stepped on a Lego in your life, pain goes from a scale of one to stepping on a Lego, not one to 10. Just saying. I hope that happens to you. Back to your regular scheduled program. I feel... Now I feel better. They are, Sensei. Now I feel a little bit better. I mean, let's just drop that black gem into that mess. That's a hot mess. Let's drop those into here. Also a kind of a hot mess. Um, and then those are going there. And then just for funsies, let's take a couple 17s. Did I not cascade what I thought I was going to? I wasn't paying attention. I was reading chat. Probably not. I think I screwed something up majorly. Oh, it was the sub? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm an idiot. I'm. Uh, that's right, I was mad because of the dodge, and then I forgot all about it. Not that it matters. Ah, uh, classic Merricks. Where were you on that, McManamy? If every class had dodge, I would quit this game tomorrow. I'm not even lying. Here comes his dodge. Here comes his dodge. Dodge it this time. Oh no, not when you're dead? Okay, fine, jerk face. Meh. I lied, I'm still not over it. Room Cascade Soap. <laughs> when I get really, really mad, like, exceptionally mad, I get quieter, not louder. When I'm just mad, loud. But when I'm super duper mad, much quieter. That was me just using my fake radio ASMR um, fans only voice, though. I don't even... You know what? I don't even care. He's dead. Why don't... You know what? I'm not cascading. Nope. I don't even care. He's dead. Nope. Not doing it. Just clicking buttons. Oh, nope. 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 Yep. I don't even care. ASM Merricks. Listen, if I went full-time on fans only, I would make so much more money than Mandy. I mean, there is a huge subset of the population that wants to see Sasquatch's nether re regions trimmed. Just saying. I would make so much money. You don't even know. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, you could run this instead of the multiply move with any of your yellow moves of choice uh, if you wanted to. They're all okay, right? Put some respect on my name. Listen, if you get rid of all the hair, it looks bigger. Pro tip. You'll thank me later. You'll thank me later. I'm more than just a streamer. I'm helping people out. <laughs> okay. Um, now let's switch plates. You want to see Jack at first, Bob, or you want to see, um, um, but, uh, but, uh, Sigil first. I don't really care. See, Grass? That's what I'm talking about. Grass knows what's good. Ouch, Phil. What the heck is that? I hope they step on that. That looks worse than a Lego. Jeez Louise. I think this card is going to be for certain people, right? Oh, UK plugs? Dang. That looks like it went deep. I think this card is going to be for certain people, and other people it's just like me. I, I'm just not going to care. And certain people are going to be like, man, this thing is the coolest thing since sliced bread. And I get it, because defensively, I see this card being a nightmare. Yes, I did. People that like defensive builds will probably love him. We going back to triple black, Bobby? Uh, this is going on YouTube, 100%. All right. Uh, no drip plate. We got the jacket. So I do be saving the buff for after the sub. Yes, okay. I'm just reminding myself I'm playing this. <laughs> I know who I am. I'm the dude that's playing the dude that's playing the dude. I love... I know, Nick. I like offensive defensive. I like control. They're two different things. I like control cards. I don't like defensive. Like, like I don't... Why? Mm, okay, here's here's the best way for me to explain this. I don't get to see the pain and suffering I cause, right? So if if I could actively, if I was playing 1v1 real time with the player in an actual competitive mode, not versus the stupid AI with the AI controlling my guy, I would 100% love to set up defensive builds and play this game. But we don't have... There's no PvP in this game. You're never playing against me. You, you, you will never play against me. If you beat me, yay, you beat the AI playing my card. Good job. If I beat you, I didn't actually beat you. I beat the AI playing your card. So in reality, I'm just the dude playing the card to beat the AI who's playing the card to beat the AI. There is no uh, pineapple elimination pineapple. There is no actual me playing against you. That's how I look at it. If if I was controlling it and we shared the same gem board and we were taking turns, you would see a whole different side of me. I would probably be way more entertaining if this was 1v1 live and not time stuff. Like if it was like best of five uh, tournaments, winners move on, in brackets, you gotta get so many wins. You could literally, with as competitive as wrestling people are, and as competitive as feud people are, they could literally make this game the most freaking competitive thing ever. You have a real grand tournament. That's a grand tournament where we share a gem board, and you alternate who goes first, best of five. Uh, if that's not good enough, if you're worried about it being too big of an advantage going first, you freaking um, give a, some kind of bonus to the guy going first. Whether it's you start with more MP uh, if you go second, I mean, or you get a dodge rate. I wouldn't do dodge. That would be stupid, but it's in the game. So maybe you get a dodge rate if you don't go first, something like that. But anyway, point being, if we shared a gem board and you had a tournament where you had to win, like, let's say you played 10 matches and you had to win eight out of the 10 to move on. 
and then you moved into the next bracket and you had to win six out of the or eight out of that 10 to move on or something like that uh until you got into the finals and then it was like best of five with your finals like do a sweet uh like the ncaa tournament of 64 and it's like best of five down through the bracket and if you did that like quarterly so four times a year people would lose their crap i guarantee you they would lose their crap it would be bananas as competitive as this game is it would be ridiculous now do i think they have the setup to be able to run a shared gem board no i don't think that's possible so that's a pipe dream i don't think their current thing can share a shared gem board would you go for that competitive people in here I got a feeling you might. Okay. Anyway, uh, Bob, I didn't switch my trainers, did I? I knew I forgot something. Yeah, it's just not going to hit as hard as I want it to. I should have also destroyed these three because he's going to. Probably. Thanks, Elimination. I appreciate that. Also, can we talk about Val Kilmer in Tombstone? How did he not win an Oscar? Son of a mother's, uncle's, brother's, nephew's, cousin, beepity beep. Only me can end up with one gem left. Only me. He's so good in that evolution. And, and then I cascaded too. Mm. You know, you want to know how innocent I was? I watched Spaceballs the first time. I think I was 14, 15, maybe even 16 years old. Watching Spaceballs, Rick Moranis is playing with the dolls. And he's like, I bet she gives great helmet." no idea what it meant i ended up watching it again like in my 20s and i was like oh my gosh that's what that meant totally did, had no clue i'm like i don't get it that, that's not funny like what what does that even mean he's just playing with dolls yeah i didn't get it anyway sorry bob i'm distracted by my story i can't believe this is gonna be my preview on youtube Really hope a bunch of people just don't watch this. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah, grass. Uh, also, Val Kilmer. If you didn't... Are you kidding me? Oh, well, it's because I got the sub-turn coaches on. We're lasting for seven turns. So I'm a little less annoyed now. Um, Because that's why it's happening to me. I deserve it. Because I'm stupid. Um... Top Gun Maverick. Freaking amazing. So good. What's gonna happen if I do this? I feel like... I don't trust myself to not screw it up, so you know what? I'm just doing that. <laughs> um, it's so good. I loved it. I liked it way more than the original. I thought it, it was magnificent. I loved every minute of it. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it was so good. It was worth the wait. Yeah, Max, you having uh, ISP issues? I'm beginning to think Champions hates me, in particular the gem board. I feel like it has something against me. I can't quite put my finger on it, what it might have against me, but I feel like there's something. Also, me not changing trainers. Yeah, you don't need to see the original to like it. But yeah, he should have won an Oscar in Tombstone. Val Kilmer, freaking amazing in Tombstone. Incidentally, if you haven't seen Tombstone, you need to watch it. One of the best Westerns ever. Uh, you know what? Another Western I really like, obviously, Unforgiven. Super good Western. Any of the old Clint Eastwood spaghetti Westerns. Uh, the Sergi Leone ones. Uh, the Man With No Name trilogy. So good, bad, and the ugly. Fistful of dollars. Few dollars more. Love those. But um, the... Um, 
but, 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 uh, uh, open range. If you, I really enjoyed open range a lot. A lot, a lot. And then uh, Django Unchained. Super good, too. Leo is awesome in that. And Jamie Foxx, great in everything. I can watch anything Jamie Foxx does. He's a crazy good actor, in my opinion. Also, super talented singer and comedian. That dude is way too talented. I don't like him on principle. He's so talented. And he's good looking and got a good voice. What the heck? No one should be that lucky. He can pretty much do it all. You know who else is kind of like that? Wayne Brady. You guys know who Wayne Brady is? Wayne Brady is a lot like that too. He can sing. He can do all kinds of stuff. Baby Driver. I don't think I've seen that one. Vic, I don't think I have. Let's set this up right, Bobby. Are we using Matt? We're using Matt. We're going to blow this crap up. Gem modifier, right? We're using Matt. No way we're not using that. Yeah. Yeah. Blood Diamond was really good. Yep. Uh, Gangs of Unor Bleh. New York was really good. So was the one where, like, freaking everybody dies, uh, The Departed. I actually really enjoyed that one with Leo, too. I thought he was superb in that as well. Um, totally, though, you don't see that coming. Yeah, I enjoyed Departed a lot. What's the one with the bear? The Revenant? I'm not sure I like that one. It was interesting, but I'm not sure I loved that one. Um, he wasn't bad in it, I just don't know if I liked it. Maybe need would need to watch it again to have an opinion. It was weird. Mm, what? Did I go by? It shouldn't be equipped. I used it earlier. Even with the filters, Merrick still can't find his trainers. Oh, all the way at the bottom in gray. Thanks. Yeah, thank you for the two biddies, McLovin. How are you? And how is Sharn? Where? There. I used purple earlier. <laughs> Not this one. What? Did it not? Did I not click yes? Did it trick me? It tricked me. Yeah, Evo. Absolutely. Caught me off guard, too. No, no, no. Oh, jeez. Some dumb. Uh, Saving Pry Ryan was great. Saw it like seven times in the theater. Not because I thought it was that seven times theater worthy great. I happened to be in college, freshman, and I was one of the few people with a car. And uh, on Wednesday, it was $1 movies at the theater near the college. Um, I did it again? For the love... I quit. I'll be back. See you guys. I'm out. I'm out. Whatever. Preview's over. I'm going home. Okay, I'm back. I'm like, this is gonna make it so much easier for me. I'm not gonna struggle at all. I'm not gonna look like an idiot on stream. It's not gonna take me five hours to set an entourage. Apparently, it will. Continue. How did that not work the other times? Oh, I hit the X up here. I have to hit SAT. I almost did it again. Yes, McManamy, thank you. Almost did it again, man. Yes, it was, Evo. Uh, that super bothered Mrs. Merrick's, too. Also, did you know uh, Spielberg wrote the part for Vin Diesel specifically um, in that movie, Caparzo, after he saw one of his uh, indie flicks, I believe it was at Cannes? Interestingly enough, Vin Diesel is very good in that movie. And my all-time favorite not big name actor probably is in that movie barry pepper barry pepper is freaking amazing don't let anyone tell you otherwise love barry pepper 
Yeah, that was pretty, um, pretty graphic, actually, Evo. It, it made a lot of, you were not the only one it made uncomfortable. Do you guys know who Barry Pepper is? All right, Gluis. So, full disclosure, they told us nothing. I had no idea I was getting a six star having played him. I can tell you almost without a doubt the reason they gave him to a six star is that six star move completely changes him as a character. He's also in a really good ESPN movie, he being Barry Pepper, um, the Dale Earnhardt story. He was really good in that too. And he's in, um, in a Will Smith movie too. Like, uh, he's a, one of the government agents and stuff. Anyway, Barry Pepper's awesome. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hmm. How's it look? Did you look at it at all? Before it you looks come? like H2. Okay, good. Uh, he might have played Roger Maris, too. Yeah, I didn't see him play Roger Maris. Yes, Bob, absolutely. This move set would probably be good with the um, yellow move, too. Uh, or as well, if when we go move damage. Enemy of the state. Thank you, Northern Mouth. That's the one. He did play Roger Maris, too. I need to watch that one, then, too. Because he was awesome as Dale. And I don't even like NASCAR. That was really good. Uh, that line when he's uh, saying, like, he can have a day like where nothing goes right or everything is wrong and then he gets out on the racetrack. I thought that was super cool. I'm totally paraphrasing it. So I just wrecked it and didn't even get close. But that line in there was really cool and I thought it was well acted. Mm, so. Do I want to leave these? No, I want to take them. We're just going as much as we can. Days of Thunder is really good, too. Oh, I see what you're saying, Bob. Yeah, yeah, I was playing stupid. Destroy, increase. Yes, that was my bad. Uh, I'm talking. Sorry, Bob. Yes, yes. My bad. My bad. Next time. I'm all distracted. Mrs. Merrick has me all Twitter-pated. You're one hot lady, man. Yeah, good you. Uh, scowling at me. I'm gonna go back to my stream. I love you. Welcome home. Oh boy. Now I'm really on tilt. <laughs> I want to go out tomorrow. Where do you want to go? That has alcohol. Okay. Uh, was, was Clock Tower good last time we went? Yeah, or? alcohol was nasty, remember? Oh, yeah, I yeah. I didn't even drink it. Oh, I... Yeah. Does, to, does Cousins have a bar? Uh, yeah. Yes. If there's a good movie, we'll go watch that, too. Oh, he looked? A place of it. Okay. Uh, it's not a date. And it's just, it doesn't have to only be you. No, no, no. It has to be only you. <laughs> I, I do not want to bring the children that are full-grown adults. When did, when did this get to be your decision? <laughs> Dang it! It's not? That's bullcrap! <laughs> How's this going to work if you don't listen to me? Yeah, that's the best line ever from Open Range, but I'm the one that says that, not you. How's your head? You're rubbing it like it hurts. Um, it's better than it was. I'm feeling so much better today. I'm feeling better today than I have since Sunday. So, actually, I'm doing a little better today. <laughs> Good. Three yellows is probably worth more than one black gem. That wasn't a bad smack. Okay, if I don't play this stupid and he doesn't get lucky, um, that's a two-turn win, too, for sure. I think, I think, like... That, that, uh, this is fine if you got an extra jacket, um, compared to drip plate for this moveset. Exactly, Bob. Uh, should I run it one more time without screwing it up at the start? Let me add to my health pack total. 
440. It's already 4.30? Holy crap. Hey, Sleep, how are you? I need to get to that move damage set or people are gonna riot. How did- where did an hour and a half go? I mean, well, we did use about 45 minutes with my public service ASMR announcement. So there's that. Oh, this is some bull honky. Okay. I'm pretending, I'm pretending like this is not feud. And leaving, I'm leaving too. Because I'm a big cheater pants. This would have worked just like this in feud, but it doesn't matter. You just need to get the concept. Nope, not there. There. You're right, Sensei. The other 45 minutes was watching me try and set an entourage. Oh. Um, I wish he was wrong. One, two. Twelve. Wait. I didn't fill it? What did I do wrong? I didn't fill my move. That's what I did wrong. Because I was like, oh, I won't have any black gems to place. This is... Why do you guys even watch me? That's fine. It ends up being the same damage here. Oh, that's true. I am doing a shirtless brawless stream. Shirtless brawless, um, if you don't know, there was somebody doing prep on Twitch with that title. And so I titled my stream shirtless brawless feud prep, I think it was. Might have been boss battle. Yeah, that moves that smacks, and that's if a dummy's not uh, playing, and that's with a dummy playing it. Choices are pretty limited, you're not wrong. Unpopular opinion. I am not at all unhappy Mandy Rose is gone. Was not a fan. These black gems are in perfect location. Just saying. Couldn't be better. Uh, I think she is a marginal in-ring talent at best. And I thought she was only okay at best on the mic. She did get way better when she went to NXT. And she worked hard at it. So I was willing to give her the benefit of the doubt, but I don't care that she's gone. Doesn't affect me at all. I think the other lady wrestlers they have are a lot better. I can hit one, right? I got enough pin bar to do one. Yeah. I think I have one spot left. Two left. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this one's gonna slap. You know, this is kind of what Corbin would look like with a drip plate. Except Corbin destroys more gems for the same cost. Just throwing that out there. No, 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 no. Here. This is when I start to get hazy. So those three are going to break. That's going to bring you down one. You're going to come down one. You're going to come down one. You're going to come down one. So then I need to bring you down one and you down one. That should get those. That should get that. And that should get that. That should get a big boom. Ah, yes! It worked out like I planned it. I did. I hit for almost six million. I need right. Uh, no. 
Okay, yeah, that definitely works. Um, so, quiet evolution. Let me have this. Never mind that Corbin doesn't buff the Maltese, okay? Leave me alone. No, 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 no. It's great. Actually, I need. we need to try one more plate. Uh, no. I, no, we don't. Sigil, I think, would work well, too. Like, really well. Because you're gonna get it to go off, then you're gonna hit the sub, then you're gonna have that during the choose to destroy. Actually, we need to run it once. Because I do think it's gonna be good. And I've already changed two plates, so I need more. Go away. Go away. We gotta do Sigil once. What? Before I swap the plate? Evo? What? 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 We haven't even got to the triple yellow move stuff. I'm doing essentially a two hour preview on Twitch, so I don't have to record one later, babe. So I can eat when I got home. You can eat when you get home. You can have it right now if you want. I will not hold you back if you're hungry this second. So when are you going to be done? Uh, I was planning on being done at five, but what? no, I didn't add move damage yet. You want me to switch it over completely? But if you, uh, I'm going to be done at five. Apparently. <laughs> you gotta talk faster. With five-ish? Five. Ah, uh, no, I got no five. Yeah, that's probably enough with with drip with gem damage. Other than defensive stuff that I don't care about, maybe. Which you probably want to move damage anyway. Uh Real quick, I'm gonna put Sigil on once. No one's gonna watch this on YouTube anyway. Not my fault. If they do, they won't watch for two hours. They'll watch for this. Might get 15 minute average. By the way, I'll show you guys later. The then you know how I said normal four to seven. The boss battle videos got 10 minutes average, so it's like three minutes mo longer. I lasted forever. Come on, go faster, faster, faster. One run of single plate. Click faster. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, leave it on Hollywood. Take it off of you because I hate using you other than for tours. Uh, why? Because it caps at 10 or 100 rather. So 10 of them. And it would just waste them. And I hate uh, having to ask for some because I've I never usually do. They last me forever. But I've been doing more skill plate stuff on stream. Hey yeah, uh, I think seeing it live a bunch is better for people anyway. Not that anyone's gonna watch for two hours, but it's way better anyway than watching um everything pre-planned set up. Uh, in a nice, neat little box uh, in a short time. You don't actually get in a real idea or a very good idea of the card. All right, Entourage is still the same. Sure. Uh, another 225 health packs. Into the notepad. Needs move damage and drip. Okay. We can go back to that Evo, for sure. When I switch over to move damage right after this. I like this board. I'm going to speed up the speed. Because you guys have seen the animations plenty. Bam. I think this is probably going to be quite nice. If I'm being real. <laughs> That'll take the yellow out. I'll take that, 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 that. Actually, that's this line, right? Oops. Sure. 
I don't know. Not gonna risk it. Yeah, that's not bad. Could be better. Could be better. Could be worse. So this is kind of why I don't like the negative one coach. For this build, I would use um who's the black destroy? Whoever black one more destroy is that coach. Jacket's better, but it's also more rare. This one is pretty solid though too. This should be decent right here. And now I can break one. I could have probably done that last time. But I wasn't paying attention because I'm trying to hurry. Do that again. Actually breaks that. Uh, that breaks that. There, there. Breaks all of those. Sure. That should be good. That's the sub, not the destroy. What a dipstick. Yeah, thanks. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. Every dang freaking time. So stupid. Like literally, how do I keep doing that? Did I I did I misclick? Because I thought for sure whatever, it doesn't matter. No, it's just it's even in the order I use them. It's whatever. I'm agitated. Totally on tilt now. <clears throat> Stupid theory. Yeah, I do not like the less sub turn for this build at all. Because it won't drain the bleed here. Yeah, grass for sure. See, that was a decent smack. And um let's I'm gonna have to play it one more time, not stupid. Frick. With um different coach. Come on. Just for gem damage across the board. Don't really need the MP. Okay. Then move damage metals. Evo, what do you want to see with the drip? I'll do that one first. Tell me ahead of time so I can start mentally preparing. Four is what you need for feud if you're wondering why I'm taking four. I don't need four, but that's what you need in feud. This is much safer. You're going to lose a few gems for sure, but much, much safer because you actually drain your opponent. 
Respectable, not amazing, but respectable. All right, this could be much better here. Do, 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 do. In bar, that's the damage move. Double black, no sub. Double MP, Santa, Trish. What's Trish do? Oh, yellow damage, yellow move damage. You mean rude, I think. I think you mean rude. I could be wrong, though. I think Trish is purple. It's kind of funny. Those two gems alone are 34 gems. I got a 20% move damage strap just for that reason, Evo. I put move damage strap on for this one because I figured you'd want to see. Yeah, this is solid. Not as much as the Bobby's jacket, but a lot more single plates out there. Okay. Switchy switch fast. Drip plate. I gotta open 20 more. Two more. Uh I think it probably cross. I don't want to say that. Because I think I like Bobby more, but probably Cross, yeah. If I'm being fair. I'm probably being biased because... Oh, Dave, you haven't seen his good stuff yet. Here comes the good stuff. You've not seen the reason to play him. I haven't used the six-star move all stream. Just showing other options because everyone is going to only look at one, one move for him. And... A lot of people are going to run triple yellow. I don't care for that personally, but I also haven't played it, so I could change my mind. Uh, good play. It's not equipped. We're stealing all of Woods' stuff, let's be real. Woods is my yellow move damage guy. There's your 200%er Evo, best I can do. And take down one. Uh, I have so much yellow move damage. It's um, better than a, or as good as a takedown two set, basically, um, because of the sub stat. I think this one is big. And yeah, it's like 17% from those two, so it almost makes up for it. This one, I just need yellow move damage. It's fine. We'll just steal Woods' setup. Get the move damage, then multi-boost, then destroy one yellow. Move damage, boost, multi destroy Sure, gotcha. Uh, mine might not be quite as good because I only have 257%. You can probably manage a little bit better than 257, but 257 is not terrible. Not the sub, you said. You want the multiply for the pin. Right, two yellow MP, Santa Hogan. That all jives for feud. I mean, black and yellow. Two dual MP. Who's the one? Oh, yeah, yellow move damage. You right. That's kind of what I would have thought too. Not surprising though. No. Uh this is move damage. Rude should be right here. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay. So the real attraction to cross is the six star move. Because it's ridiculous. 292 Lee, right on. Yeah, mine's like 40% less. Not terrible, but, you know. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. Uh, just hit the move damage, then multi boost right, hoping to get drip on a yellow. I guess I'm just destroying one black and hoping to get it on a yellow. Because six, well, I could destroy six yellow. Okay. Because I do have enough yellow on the board, so I could have tried that too. There we go. We're good here. How much pin bar left? One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. So, I guess in this case you go for turn two. Hit the yellow. Or do I just buff it and then go for a cascade? Actually, I think buff it and go for a cascade. And then, yeah, like this. Yep. Obviously, we're going to take that because one gives us three. It's a good trade. There's fine ish. Seven, twelve, twelve, twelve. I don't know. It all starts to look the same to me. That's going to break that too. Move. I don't. Yeah, move it. Oh, wait. You're saying. Hold on. You say just do the the seven MP again for the 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 move again, and then swipe with a tear. That might work. It's big move damage. Yeah, that will work. You're right. You're right. It's I'm not used to a six million move damage. Hundred percent. Bam. That's all of his life. Well, pretty dang near. Yeah, that's super huge move damage. And that's turn one. Um, need a little bit. That is fast. So, like, when that works, that's really good. Like, really good, really fast. No question. If it, when it works, that's super fast. Now, I think you could work it without the drip. Um, we're having a lot of yellow on the... Okay, I got one. And I got a black gem. Almost cascaded right out of it. Yeah, when it works, it's certainly spicy. And what am I doing? It doesn't matter. So, who cares? Apparently I do. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about cascading, for sure. So, I know everyone's going to ask, can, so this is obviously ridiculously good. Um, what if you don't have a drip plate? So, my answer would be this. Actually, is there anything else you want to see before I take the drip plate off, Evo? Yes, you have to get a drip plate. I don't have one. I would love one, babe. Before I switch to a break yellow, get different color or something. I don't have one, Dave. This is just for previews. That's what you wanted to see live? Okay. Uh, you wouldn't use drip for triple yellow, obviously. So, one more plate. Yeah, no problem. I think that's going to work really well. I think you have enough control with the destroy. It's probably going to work way more often than not. You probably have way better board luck than I do. We are burning through this today. That's what it's there for, though. I just have to ask for more when I get low. I didn't need two. I think I only needed one. So, let's say you're like me and you don't have a drippy drip. 
and you have to do this like a uh, scrub lord what would i do probably give myself a few more outs with this time once again since we have so much pin bar to work with and this is also what I would use for triple yellow which I will try and run one set of that really quickly one match of each and I should get this in very close to five Same setup. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Happy Evo. I, I, it took way longer than I thought. I'm sorry it took me this long to get to the move damage. I wasn't even paying attention to the time. It was just kind of flying. Uh, yeah, General's Orders would be great, too. Good shout. General's Orders would be great, too. I just grabbed the first yellow I came to. So this isn't, you know, obviously if you have, it's 6 MP. So if you have six, you don't need the plate. That's just to protect against if you get a dry board. Um, we can also theoretically reload the destroy. If we were to use uh, more choose destroy people, right? Um, we're not going to have enough here to do that without like a cascade. And it's going to reload it. Um, here, which it wouldn't in feud, I'd be one short. But you'd still have him down to 1.2 million, um, so still really effective. I'm gonna lose my stuff. Also, without the drip, you don't need the multiply move, so I would use one of the kickouts. Probably. Or the sub. Actually, I think I'd use the sub to drain them instead of one of the kickouts. I probably would use the sub. Oh. Yeah, let me do this differently. With the sub. I'm gonna run it once more with the sub. Love you, bud. Yeah, either way, the kick out there. Or the sub. We need to move the pin bar a little bit, so swipe wins it, so I'll just destroy like three. Should be enough. But the multiply move is not the right move for this move set. Oh, that moves it the wrong way. What the heck, I'm not thinking. <laughs> I got a five match though, so it's fine. We lucked out. Me was big dumb. Or not. We didn't luck out. Anyway, he's dead. I definitely prefer the sub. Uh, let's not do that again. Okay. Use a different move. That's what happens when I rush too much. What was the other thing I said I was going to try? Oh yeah, people want to see double yellow get pinned. I'm sure I did. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. I am in a rush. Not this. Not this? Yes, this. This moves sub. I like the sub. You could use the stun if you want. It's whatever. You use the other kick out if you want. It all is the same. I'm going to be bold. I don't think I need to heal. Actually, I think I like the sub play a lot here. This is actually a case of where I would use Hollywood in feud as well, if you didn't have a drip plate. Um, because a three match would be very nice, uh, and also help for the black gems too. Uh, you could probably reload a lot more. Uh, one, two. Ooh, big cascade by me. 
You can also not try and do that. Like they're saying, if you know the health is close, you don't need to push it. But, I mean, it's whatever, right? So, and you don't have to worry about getting the pin once you do this with the sub there, because that's your pin move. So, I think that's, the sub to me is the safe play. One, two, three, six. Um, and then you just hit your move and hit the sub to drain them. Or to get your pin. That makes a safe play, right? So I do like that setup. Probably more than the triple yellow. But I will run the triple yellow as well. Definitely like that move set, that setup. That would be my personal favorite because I don't need a drip plate. I do see the attraction if one has a lot of spare drip plates and wants to set up really good defensive build too. So I definitely see the, the purpose and point of that. If you have plenty of drip plates or if you really love carrion cross, for sure. Um, triple yellow should be okay as well. If you like this kind of gameplay, full disclosure, I tend to dislike having to get pinned to do stuff. So uh, we don't need Santa and we don't need wood. So you can go full on move damage. So we're going to get 45% there, and we're going to get 25% here. If you don't have Gooker, you can get 10% with um, Hall of Fame Andre. You probably don't have Gooker, but that's fine. I'm just showing max potential here. 15% is not a make or break. 750, 743 million before medals. Yeah, immobiles for boss battle. I got a 33 minute video on YouTube that should break it all down for you, Stone Cold. This guy would be okay for boss battle, yes, but it, the buff will not work. Likely will not work on his ability. Um, also, I might do starting yellows on the board here. And uh, who's the yellow guy? Um, don't take this match because we don't want to move the pin bar. Yellow is Dom. So you could also swipe out the move damage and use Dom. But this is why I don't like this. I just don't like waiting to get pinned. He slaps a bleed on. He does all of his moves. Just kind of annoys me. However, he's now stunned. Great. And we now have our really nasty countdown gem on the board. And we're going to kick out. And then we're going to pin. We kept him down. So that worked out great. Can't really complain. That was super simple. Don't know what it's going to look like taking shots in feud. He's very good. He's very strong. I prefer Rocker. But he's very, very good. I mean, with this 6.8 million, 1.6, 1.7. Boy, that worked out really bad for Theory, really good for us. The one thing is... Um, if it takes more than one swipe, your yellows don't go off. So that's worth noting. But six star kick out land. That's okay. That's going to work. I can deal with that. For how fast that is, I can deal with triple yellow too. I'll, I'll say after having played it, unless it's against a showboat with a ton of health, I can totally see triple yellow being fast too. And usually AI doesn't completely annihilate you in one turn at six star, even kind of. So... Yeah, I'm down with it. I'll give Cross, um, I'd take him to six star. If I got him, uh, he would go six star next on my roster. I'll definitely say he's better than Lashley. Probably as good as Cody, but totally different. I still think I'd prefer Rocker because I don't have to even take a hit with Rocker. 
but short of after he's he's really good really fast so uh he would definitely be the next striker i would ros level on my roster i don't have cody if i got cody i really liked his gameplay i'd probably have to go back and watch my video to decide um so he's number two number three best striker in the game and that's not something i wanted to say so there you have it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream I have uh, to go eat some dinner. You can smell it. It smells delicious. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, different kind of preview. Let me know what you thought. You probably skipped most of it, but uh, this isn't one I was really looking forward to doing on my own anyway. Um, so I actually enjoyed today. So thank you, everybody in the stream uh, that participated, helped out, um, showed up, talked, chat. It was awesome. You guys have a great weekend, and I will probably see you next year. So happy new year, everybody. Enjoy your holidays, and um, yeah. Good luck out there. Let's see who I'm going to raid. Uh, -ba 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 -ba. We got... Um... Thank you for the follow, Ta. No one's streaming this, so... I am just gonna raid. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do this. I'm gonna raid and run because it's time to eat. So if they ask or say something to me, um, if somebody would say something. That would be great. Otherwise, oh well, I'll just be rude and raid and run. Let's raid a random gamer. I'm gonna raid somebody with 14 people watching that I kind of know. I don't really know, but I think their husband plays champions, is what I was told once. They got 14 people watching him, so, you know, blow up their stream. No idea what they're streaming, but I'm following them. It says retro, and as I recall, they said it was the wife of somebody that plays champions, and I should raid them, and I did once a long time ago. Yeah, time for food. Take care, guys. Enjoy boss battle. Later.